Welcome back to the tenants. This is going to be the last video for a little while until they have a few more updates. But we're going to finish off getting that $10,000 lease. So that lease right there, uh, we're going to get that. Now, they did update the game between this part and the last part and changed a lot of the financials, which is actually kind of annoying. But also good. They they basically rebalanced a lot of the money stuff. Um, and I did. I was. I've been playing the game basically for like maybe three, three between three and five hours, just letting the game run so I can get money. So that's how I have three hundred thousand dollars. And I was actually saving up to buy this big building here, which was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars before the update. Yeah, it's now nine hundred and sixty thousand. So it's like three times the price. And I this took me a few hours to get that money. So that's gonna be way down the line if I ever get that. A lot of places are also way more expensive now. Like this, mind you, this part of the map is called the slums. So I'm not quite sure why stuff is so expensive here. I don't know, I think that, I mean, this game is very early access and they're doing all these updates. And uh, in the patch notes, they're saying how much they're listening to all the feedback, which is fantastic. And I do think they needed to rebalance the money because it was getting a little grindy, as I mentioned last time. Now, the interesting thing, if we go back to the suburbs again, is my house that we were trying to get the 10,000 uh, rent on is actually pretty easy to do it now. I mean, obviously, I, I didn't want to do it off camera. I got a new tenant. Uh, it's actually changed tenants a few times. I want to kick this guy out, uh, although it's kind of, an, it's going to cost me money, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, so on, yeah, this guy here. Oh, actually, he's in debt anyway. Hmm. What if I say demand payment? If he says he doesn't pay, then maybe I can kick him out for free. Let's, let's just check. Oh, damn, he paid. All right, well. Now, actually, they added this new thing here to settings, so you can change notification settings. Though it seems to be really bugged because you heard I just got a message, but it didn't pop up. Uh... Although actually, you know what? No, maybe not. I might have turned that off. Rent payments. That might have been that. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, let's kick this guy out because I don't want him here anymore. I want to get someone so we can get 10,000 in rent. Oh yeah, you can actually now also see down here. You can see your total income. Before we you just have to go here and then like hover over the districts and look in the top right and see how much money we've got. Now we can actually just see it all here. And I actually also added taxes into the game to also help balance the money and income flow, which in my case is kind of annoying because I kind of just wanted extra money. Oh, you want some date advice? Really? Why do they keep asking me for date advice? Uh, I've tried these options. Watch one, no, watch a random action movie, sure. Anyway, I'm trying to kick this guy out, okay? You, get out of there. I don't care. Whatever. It's six grand, sure. Good. Good riddance. So now what we can do, begin open house. I'm just going to rent the whole apartment because the rooms to rent thing didn't really work anyway. We need a single lease with $10,000. <laughs> so we're going to try to do that. So what we're going to do, this person is coming through now. I'm just going to run the checks on them right now to get that up and going. I don't know if they even like the place yet, mind you, but let's see. So negotiate. So you can see, look, the low end of the spectrum is 7,300. This used to be like as much as we could get. Now I can offer 14. So we should easily, I think, be able to get over 10,000. You can see they've already offered over 10,000. So this is like way easier than last time to do it. So I'm going to do 11,000 because I feel like we can get more next time. So I'm going to do a 30 day lease. We're going to accept that. We now have done a little thing. Yeah. Oh, also they added the funny the funny thing with the patch notes was there was like we fixed this, we rebalanced the money, and oh yeah, we added 270 items. So there's a whole bunch of new items in the game as well, which is really crazy. So pretty cool. All right, reach tenant happiness at the end of the lease. 80, 120 days. Wait, which lease do I have to do that with? And how do I do that? Best landlord ever. So you're not too happy. Does it have to be with everyone? I, I'm not really sure about that. I'm not really sure about that one. I don't know how to do that. We finished watching the movie. Ooh, okay, cook something fancy. We get some pizza. Yeah, you get pizza. I don't know why they're asking me for data buys. Right, anyway, I've got $380,000. So basically what I want to do is buy somewhere else. Do you remember this house? It was about, well, this one, sorry, it was about like, what, 250 ish we paid or whatever it was? Yeah, they're now $790,000. So I think I bought at the right time. The market just blew up in the last few weeks. <laughs> this place is 297 just for that. What else can I buy? Is there somewhere else nice I can get? 416 up here. $900,000 for this. It was a disaster. I've literally never had my date advice in this game ever be successful. It's always bad. So I don't know. What, what do you want from me? Why are you? Who texts their landlord asking for date advice? Well, this person's happy. Does that count? <laughs> All right. Where can I buy? I do want to buy somewhere. $297. It doesn't have to be here in the suburbs. I might go back to the slums. All right. So we got one lease extension and one they didn't want to extend. All right. Let me go back 
here. Okay, so what can we buy here? This is 250, uh, primary market, no. Well, where is the primary market? Is that is that a thing in each world? Primary market, yes. I can't afford that. I can nearly afford this one. 30 square meters, that's tiny. There's so much money. Actually, it's not that tiny in this game. What's this? Primary market, no, okay. Well, actually, how much is this? 288. How much is the boat? 153. It is primary market, no, but it'd be pretty cool to own a boat. Well, that's 150. Can I buy that and something else? Because that'd be nice. This is over a million now, that's crazy. I was so, I was this close. Damn it, if I had bought it before the game updated, it would have been so amazing. 288 for this one. And this was the, oh no, that's not the primary market. And I will send a pro in to deal with your, your cockroaches. Do not worry. How do you get this many cockroaches in such a small space as well, by the way? All right, where was that good one? This one here, three, oh, that is 390. Though. That's literally all my money if I buy that. I want to buy the boat. And also when I buy this, I'm not going to have any money to furnish. So maybe I shouldn't buy that. Honestly, kind of tough to know. Maybe I should buy the cheaper one. 288. No. You know what? Why don't I just buy the boat? What? I want the boat as well. I might as well buy the boat now. Yeah, I got an achievement. It says I'm on a boat. You can't see it in the recording, but it says I'm on a boat. Begin the renovation. Wait, actually, could I just rent this out like this? It's pretty sweet. Um... I mean, so what do we need? We need a fridge, a bed, and a toilet. Um, well, I guess maybe we clear out this room. We could keep like this as like a living kitchen space. Although this could be a kitchen space. Hmm. There's a lot of good stuff in here, to be honest. Damn, look at all these wine racks we have. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna clean out this room here because we'll use this as like the bedroom and maybe bathroom. So why don't we go like bathroom like that and then that's the bedroom in there. And door, we get the thousand dollar door. I'm gonna get this wood wall because it's actually a little bit better. And floors, I'm gonna use this one. Yeah! Now what do I have in my inventory? I got a table, I got a workout bench. I get a workout bench in here maybe. This place is a little random, but that's okay. All right, do we have any new furniture in here? There is like some new things here. No new double bed yet. I would like to have a double bed, it would be nice. I wish it wasn't so dark in here right now. Uh, then we'll get some of these, you know, we'll get the wooden ones. Oh, but they're cheaper though. I, they like good quality stuff is the annoying thing. Get this vanity over here. Actually, let's have a look. So what is this room at the moment? This room is already an A, the captain's cabin, so that's good. This is a B, so this is actually not too far off being pretty good already. Now bathroom, I did get a new bathroom. There's a new bathtub for $12.99, but I can't really fit it in here. I just lost a tenant. That's okay, I was kind of letting, I've got a few tenants behind my head here that are looking over new, but I kind of just want to get them all out because we can probably get better rental rates now with the update. Or worse, I'm not sure, we'll see. But one of the above. And I want to use this, a star gold mirror. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Ooh, a plunger. A little plunger. Oh, that block. Apparently the plunger is too much and that blocks the shower. Of course it does. Oh, apparently there's smart snapping now too, which is interesting. So I think that just helps you like you're doing like counters and stuff. Oh yeah, so it's like sort of, if I hold it, you can see it's like snapping to like an object or something. Although it doesn't, hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that's a new thing too. Ooh, we've got some new like tower racks in here. Ooh, look at this one, fancy. It's above the, the sink. I think I've probably squished in as much as I can in this bathroom. <laughs> it's pretty full. But what is the rating on it? A, good, all right, what about the bedroom? Bedroom is still B, so we definitely wanna upgrade this a bit more. Maybe plants, plants are usually the way to go. Uh, wall plant, small plant, big plant, yeah. And, ah, oh, green mat, it's like a yoga mat. Wait, did that say green? Why does this say green? Did I just discover I'm colorblind and that's not green? Um, is that just me? All right, I'll put the green mat in the living room. All right, how's the bedroom now? It's still a B. Well, maybe we should just get some artwork. That's usually pretty good. We'll get a, uh, where's the Mona Lisa? That always does well. A, there you go. <laughs> maybe in the Miss Gorgeous painting. And then this thing for a bit of pop of color. And then we'll do a little kitchen setup there with, I guess this is the, Mo well, this is a bar with this and a sink and a microwave. Oh, I don't have a stove and a stove. So move that bell to here. All right, so that's A, that is A, 102, that's pretty good. And then this is 138. All right, so that's pretty good. I mean, it's, I didn't do too much of it. It doesn't actually look that amazing, but I think it should rent pretty well. So let's go on the radio. We'll just pay out big and we'll get you. Alcoholic construction worker. They might be willing to pay a lot of money for this. Let's see. Oh, you're not a very good tenant. Oh, you know what? I did these... Didn't I do those checks in the last guy and I didn't even look what the results were? Hmm. You only think it's fine even though you had love hearts? Oh no, that was you. Bad. Hmm, okay, you can get out of here too. I feel like they're gasping and not really liking this place. 
All right, let's go 120 days, make an offer for 9,500. Okay, fine, a little less, 8,000? Okay, what about a little less? 8,100, 7,200, I'll take it, that's pretty good. All right, so we've rented that place and we've got a few, as I said, we've got a few other tenancies that have just expired as well. So like these two places here are vacant. So this one, I think, did I? I might've bought this in between parts as well. I know I at least bought one other place. This might have been one. This might have been the one I bought uh, between episodes. Okay, this alcoholic fast food worker seems to like it. So they have excellent uh, history. Oh, they have third degree felony. Mm, driving under the influence, assault and battery. Mm, I feel like they might come for me if I, uh, but maybe it's fine. Hmm, they only want to pay, they don't want to pay too much though. Let's try someone else. Hmm, this person seems to like it, a gamer childcare worker. So let's see, excellent opinions, and what about their criminal record? Hmm, serious crime, manslaughter, and drug possession. A gamer childcare worker, right, okay. But they like it, so who am I to, they, look, criminals need somewhere to live, okay? Who am I to deny them? somewhere to live, you know? 4,900, I mean, I guess. I feel like I could get more in this place, but I don't know, that'll do. All right, where else do we have? These three places also have all run out of uh, tenancies. All right, let me do these. Oh, the original. Actually, we could probably upgrade some of this. Anything we could change in here? Well, actually looking at it, most of it, probably there's nothing to really replace it with. All right, whatever, let's begin open house. Mm, I feel like these apartments may have been balanced downward slightly, because I. I feel like we got more on these before. I'm not sure that that'll do there. 3,000 ish dollars. We had a leaky pipe over here, which I did. I do believe I sent someone in. Oh, a leaky pipe on a ship. That That's not a good thing. Yeah, set us in a pro in. I don't know where they are though. Oh no, it's already fixed. We're good. All right, then we also have Ferry Street over here. This one needs a new place. Oh, this one's a classic. I really like this apartment. Begin an open house on this one too. This one, hopefully will rent nicely. No one's really loving this place. Oh, hang on. No, I, never mind. I spoke out of turn. Um, you, who are you? Ashley. Excellent. And the background check, no criminal record. Negotiate. 120 days at uh, 4,800. Oh. Yeah, I definitely feel like these were up at 7,000 before. Maybe they weren't. I don't know. How much money are we making? Hmm, it's okay. Oh yeah, they also added this new ability to pay automatically so I don't have to keep opening the bills and clicking pay all, which is nice. So that's good. And then finally, we have the little trailer, which again, I don't think there's much else I could do to this to, to upgrade it. Because I don't really have any new furniture to replace this stuff yet. All right, let's have a look what we can get for the little trailer. Oh man, this is way less than it used to be. 1970, that's like nothing. How am I going to make money on this? Oh, this guy seems to like it though. Hmm. Should I swap? Oh no, hang on. Okay, before I do this, before I commit, hang on. Who likes what? You're good. You're, oh, you're all good. Now, Liam Romero, this guy right here, he does have assault and battery charges and resisting arrest, but I'm not a cop, so that doesn't matter. That'll be fine. Maybe let's make an offer for him. Ah, it's about the same as the other person. It didn't really make any difference, but you know what? I'll give him a home. I'll give him a home. He needs somewhere to live. Now this one over here is also trying to renegotiate. I actually might want to try renting the whole place here instead of doing the two rooms. So this whole place, where, where is this? Cozy, spacious flat. Where, what is it? Sycamore Circle is 8,500 a month currently in total. So I'd actually be really interested if we can get more just renting the whole place. I also have two, so I've got 209,000. So this place was 290. That other place that was in the, the good area is 390. I really want this one. But I don't, I need another $180,000, which is a lot. Oh, so this is the one we rented at the beginning for $11,000. let us see what my, my person can get here. Hey, you got me less money. I really wish that they had, so there's this thing where you, you tell them to, to do the renewal and then it doesn't give you the option to like reject it. Sometimes they renew it as like, half the amount you were, they were paying before. And I'm like, hey, just because I told you to go do it didn't mean I want you to accept the really low thing there. All right, so that person just left, which was from this place. I, I, I also, I kind of wish it also told you how long this person has left. Like this person moved in 58 weeks ago, but I don't know when their lease expires. I, I Can you check that? Manage, it just says break agreement. There's no like, it doesn't tell me when they leave. So I'm just gonna kick him out. Yeah, get out. <laughs> if it was like, like uh, agreement ends in one week or something, I'd be like, oh, okay. All right, begin open house. Let's try doing the whole place. Let's see if we can get more. We need to get more than 8,500 ideally, but we'll see. So this guy, he likes it. It's exceptional. Wayne McCullough, uh, unsatisfying tenancy history, but what's his background? No criminal record. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> oh boy, we're not gonna get more than the two individuals, are we? 
Hmm. This could be a problem. I've just taken a big L on this one. I should have kept those guys in here. Damn it! Oh no, someone's got rats. Who is it? It's you. I'll send a pro in. Don't worry, I got this. All right, well, I guess we're going to be taking an L. Um, make offer. More money, please. Oh, well, he went way down. All right, well, no, you get out of here then, buddy. Ooh, exceptional on this person. Du Douglas Mullen. Hang on. Good opinion. No criminal record. Give me more money than my previous tenants, please. Oh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get more or even the same. 7,000? I guess I'm going to have to accept that. Maybe going back to the rooms to rent on this one was a better idea. Oh, well. I, well, it was good to know. It was good to know and try. And also now it's kind of nice because I have six places and six tenants so it's a little bit easier to manage you know what is my overall income here Twenty four thousand a month like that's good but if i'm wanting to buy that three hundred ninety thousand dollar place which i don't think i'm going to be able to <laughs> not today anyway we might buy this one the 290 we can probably do a few jobs to get it or maybe we should just take a loan because i oh yeah that's the other thing i repaid the loan as well um i don't Wait, how much is the other place? It's 390. Well, why don't I just take a loan then? What am I doing? If, especially if this is the last part, I might as well, well, last part for now, I might as well take a loan and not worry about it. 15 a month? Well, we can cover that. Do I need 250? I don't need 250, do I? Oh, I probably do because I need to furnish it. All right, let's sign the agreement. Let's do it. 472, easy. Let's purchase this place. 95 grand left. All right, so we're hoping that, first of all, we're going to clean this place up. Oh, oh yeah, they also added a, a queue now. Look, Grandpa can do two things. Well, he can do more than two things, but he won't, like, you can you can just queue up everything in one go. How good is that? Isn't that beautiful? Oh, we can't queue up the exit, though. Never mind. No, 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 go here. All right, add that to my storage, and then exit. All right, begin renovation. So the question is, what do we want to do with this place? Do we try to maximize the number of bedrooms? I actually don't know what the most uh, profitable thing in this game is. Is it having more bedrooms? Or is it like a mix of bedrooms and bathrooms? Like, should we do a little bedroom here and a big bathroom, a big bedroom there, and then like another room here? Like, is this good? Well, maybe not that, because you can't get to that room. But, you know, like, is doing a layout like this more beneficial to us? My heater stopped working. I'll send a pro in. So what I'm thinking is we go little laundry. This is the bathroom, bedroom, and bedroom. And I'm going to put all the doors here. It's not the nicest, but it keeps all the doors in like, you know, one place. We're going to have these beautiful hardwood floors. And then for the bathrooms, some porcelain stoneware maybe. Oh, can I just wait? Can I leave this? Because I want to... Let me just go to daytime because it's really annoying when it's like so dark. Ah, that's better. All right, that's better. Now I can actually see in this place. Um, that's the other thing. Oh yeah, they also added this now. They added, you can hide the walls. You can do like a Sims style cutaway wall or you can have show all walls. So there's a few different options there now too, which is quite nice. All right, walls. So bathroom, I think just like a really simple one there. Living space, maybe nice green. One of the bedrooms can be like orangey. This one can be blue. That's not blue, blue. There you go, a few different colors. That's fun. Then doors, a thousand dollar doors. Of course, I'm gonna spend all the bank's money, why not? And furniture, right. So the bathroom, oh, I get to use the new bathtub. Definitely using this. So we get the new bathtub. There's also the new toilet. Oh yeah. We still use the same shower. I'm gonna have to move this little heater. Move that there for now. Use this new shower. Use the same sink as always. So that's still the best one. Get this beautiful mirror. Get a laundry. I'm gonna get a laundry hamper in here. I know this is the laundry, but I'll have one in here for like when you get changed and stuff. It's Handy to have it there. A little plunger. A little plunger, the toilet brush, and some uh, toilet paper. We need the towel racks as well. We'll get a few of these maybe. Oh, maybe just one, it's easier. A little cacti and a mug, that's fun. A little plant. Oh, yep, a little plant. Now, how's this room? 90, it's rated A, that's pretty good. What is this? Candlestick, all right. <laughs> Let's add that in there, that's fun. 92, it's pretty good. And then maybe we should do a wall plant. Actually, not that one. That's a cheap one. This one, 95. It's pretty good. Let's go with that for now. All right, the next door is the laundry, which will just be like, I guess, this guy. Maybe one of these. Get a mirror. Maybe a plunge. Can I plunge? Oh, you can't put it on top of that? Okay. We get one of these as well. A couple of laundry baskets. Oh, maybe we should have another sink in here too, actually. We'll get one of these sinks instead of the other one. There you go. Just like a little laundry thing. It's called an ordinary room, if you will. All right, and then we're gonna get two bedrooms and we're gonna go double bed there, double bed here. And I guess a vanity for you. You guys can have one as well. I'm gonna do a pretty similar thing, I think. They're gonna have lights that match their rooms. Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, a bottle of whiskey? Sure, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. 
Black mat. Oh, this one is actually black. Look at that. A vase. How's this room going? C. Man, you need a lot of stuff in bedrooms to make them good. Let's get one of these. We haven't used these yet because I think these are new. You have that one. You guys can have this one. A little plant. Another plant. A rolled up mat. Still rated C. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we use this same green rug that I always use because it's the only... Well, it's the best quality rug, so that's all we have to use. Nice wall plants. This room gonna have a little dream catcher there. That's nice. Oh, and a blue vase. Mr. Important painting. Jeez. <laughs> that's only B with that in there. That thing is crazy. Oh, they've also got these new things too, like little room dividers, which is kind of cool. So you could actually like sort of divide a kitchen and like dining area a bit more now. Ooh, a little shoe rack. That's nice. Yeah, there's all these new little things in here. Got this big lamp again. Get some blinds. They might like that for a little bit of privacy. Right, so this bedroom's A. This one's B at the moment. A94. That's pretty good. I just did a big shelf with a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, can this fit in anywhere? No. Why oh, do we get this creepy owl thing in here? Watching over the room. I want it here, but that, that plant is in the way. And yeah, let me put that there. Let me move this. Put this in the corner so I can like watch over from the corner of the room. And then we can put that there. <laughs> 93! That, that, worked. that worked. And this one's 94. Cool. And then we're just going to do the living space, which shall always consist of a grandfather clock and anything free that I have in here. That's good. Man, none of this stuff's that good. Let's not get that. I'm going to put the kitchen here, maybe. Uh, this may be a little cramped <laughs> in that corner, but I mean, it works. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a little umbrella basket. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It's a little umbrella basket by the door. Then we can have like a nice little dining area over here. Is there, like a nice table or are these tables all discussed? They're all like huge. I guess this one's good, so maybe I'll just use this. I thought this could be like a little dining area. There you go, a little dining zone. Oh, you can have a little welcome mat. That's nice. We'll get that in there to wipe your feet. And then we can get the big green. Oh, the big green rug doesn't fit. Maybe one of these ugly rugs. Oh, these rugs are too small. Oh, this one fits. It's kind of ugly though. <laughs> this game, they really need to add different colors for items so you can like at least make it match a bit better. Sure, that'll work. And then... We'll get a Mona. Where are the mirrors? I want a mirror. Here we go. I want to do this by the kitchen so it makes the kitchen look bigger. The dining area can have this beautiful centerpiece, which is off to the side. Okay, that's no, really annoying. Let me move this. That can go there and then this can line up with the dining table. Yeah! Uh, I got texted. What would you like? Uh, I'll send a pro in for that. No worries. This room's already rated an A, mind you. So it's already pretty fantastic. I wonder if we should cut it off and make it a separate room. I don't know how this game... Like, I don't know how they calculate, like how good a room is. So that's why I'm like, I don't know, should we cut this off? If it's already rated A, uh, I just need to move this somewhere to that there. If it's already rated A, should I then make a separate like living room? Is that better for us, you know? I'm gonna do this. So now this room is still rated A. It's actually higher rating, I think. Actually, what did you want? What did you text me? Oh, you just sent me money. Great, thanks. And that's this green. And then the living room can be ye yellow. And I will do... I think it's already a door frame. Oh, we could do like saloon doors. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it a door frame. I don't think that matters. I'll leave it open. And then now we do living room. So we get this sofa which is apparently the best one here and here right and then we get the biggest bestest tv i'm just gonna line up with the window because otherwise it was gonna annoy me if it wasn't and then we can get some some big speakers oh but the, the, the window's in the way <laughs> get a lamp i don't know this this is this room's kind of falling apart what what is we got purple and yellow in here what's going on oh tv unit oh you put like a tv in that that makes sense not gonna do that though Oh, look at this armchair. We can do like a couple shelves underneath and then we could get like a DVD player. Oh, it's a little big. Get a console as well. The stack of DVDs, does that fit? Oh, it does. So under there we get like two stacks of DVDs. And over on this one we get like some sweet game cartridges. <laughs> so wait, why can't you, how can you not reach this chair? Really? You can't reach that chair? Really? Maybe this should just go here. No. Okay, this is blocking the entire house now. I still can't get into this. This chair is like the hardest thing to sit in apparently. It's green. I don't know why they can't get to it. Oh no, now they can. Right, okay. Oh, we should definitely get an arcade game in here. Put it there. Two grand, why not? This room is rated A. It's apparently a music studio, not a living room. So I don't know. I guess because of these, a coffee table, I suppose. Now it's a living room. There we go, that's better. <laughs> get a plant and we'll get one of these puppies because it's nice and colorful. Look at this room. Look at that. 117. All right, so this whole place should be pretty good. 140, 93. The bedrooms are a little lower. 94, 95 for the laundry and 95 for the bathroom. I'm happy with that. Let's go. So let's go ahead and begin open house, whole apartment. Let's see what happens. Athlete nursing aid. 
What have you got for me? She's had bad tenancy history, which is just fantastic. And no criminal record though, so let's see. Negotiate. Oh, looks like this actually might be pretty good. Make it offer 16,000. No, I gave you a good deal on this plate. I think 12,000? 13,900. You know what? I'm going to take that. I think I'm going to take that. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, that worked out pretty well. Now, how much are we actually making? About the same amount of money because... <laughs> We were making like 22,000 before, now we're making 21. It's about the same because we're owing the bank 15,000. So yeah, I didn't really save any money there or make any more money. But overall, pretty good. Well, I'm going to leave the tenants there for now. Uh, in the future, there's obviously going to be more game updates. And like in this part, there's already an update between the two parts. This game is in early access, still very much in development. A lot is changing and being added. So we'll, we'll come back to this game probably in a few months or whenever. Whenever something big and new comes to it, we'll revisit it. But thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the series thus far. I'll see you in the next video and have an awesome day.